Math time na! It's me, Mrs. Ellie Jane Ruedas, your math teacher facilitator for today. How is everyone? I hope all of you are all doing great. For today's topic, we will be discussing about measures of central tendency for ungrouped data. Math 7, week 3. For today's objective, the learner illustrates the measure of central tendency of a statistical data, the mean, median, and mode. In the previous lessons, you were given ideas how to collect, organize, and present data. Once data are collected, you still need to describe and analyze some numbers that will tell you something about the data. Getting the measures of central tendency will provide you more information about the data. A measure of central tendency is either the average the middle value or the most frequent value in a given set of data. When we say measures of central tendency, it talks about the center of a given data set. It is a summary of set values in a given data. The most common measures of central tendency are the mean, median, and mode. When we say ungrouped data, meaning the given values or data itself were arranged in random. Now let's discuss the three measures of central tendency for ungrouped data. So let's start with the mean. So the mean is the most popular uh, measures of central tendency. This is known as average. This is calculated as the central value of a set of a given data. The mean with the symbol x bar is equal to the sum of all the numbers in the given set divided by the numbers of values in the set. So this is the usual way of getting the average or the arithmetic average. We add the numbers we add the numbers in the given data set and then divide it according to the numbers of values given. Example, find the mean of the following data. Again, to solve for the mean of the given data, first, we are going to add all the values in the given set. And then step two, we are going to divide it, we are going to divide the sum by the number of values. So in this case, what is n? What will be the number of values? We are going to count the given scores or the data. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So therefore, our data set is, uh, our n in the given data is 8. Now let's solve. First, we add the given values. So 3 plus 9 plus 12 plus 5 plus 6 plus 12 plus 17 plus 8 is equal to 72. And then divide it by the number of n, which is 8. So our mean is equal to 72 divided by 8 is 9. Let's have example number two. Find Toti's average grade for the four grading periods in Math 7, whose first is 84, second 86, third 87, and fourth is 91. What is the mean? So first, add natin yung scores. 84 plus 86 plus 87 plus 91 is equal to 348. And then divide it by 4 kasi 4 grading period. So the answer is... 87. Next, we have median. 
Median is the middle scores for a set of data that has been arranged from highest to lowest. And the symbol for median is this. Example, find the median of the following sets of scores. First step, arrange them from least to greatest. So here, the least score is 9 and the highest score is 30. Then look for the middle score. Here, the middle score is 15. So therefore, the median is 15. Another example, find the median of the following grades of students in statistics examination. Again, arrange the scores from least to greatest. So here, the least is 64 and the highest is 87. As you can see, we have two middle scores, 79 and 80. So we add the two middle scores divided by 2, we will get 79.5. Or 79.50 as middle score or median. Next is the mode. Mode is the most frequent score in a set of data. And the symbol for mode is this. When we say mode, ito yung uh, values na may pinakamaraming beses na lumabas sa isang data set. Example, what is the mode in the given data set? We have 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 8, and 10. Since 5 appears twice, then in this given data set, the mode is 5. Now let's try this example. Find the mode in each data set. Again, you're going to look for the value of a number. You're going to look for a number that appears more frequently in the given set. So in A, B, and C, what are the numbers or the values that appears the most? Now let's see if your answers are correct. So in A... 7 appears 3 times, so therefore the mode is 7. In letter B, we have 80 and 83. 80 appears twice, 83 also appears twice. So therefore our mode are 80 and 83. We call this as bimodal. Next, in letter C, Meron ba tayong number na nag-appear ng dalawang beses o mahigit pa? So, there is none. So, therefore, our mode is none. Hindi po zero ang ilalagay, ha? None. So, let's have a short recap about our lesson. Mean, also known as arithmetic average, wherein you just add the total scores and then divide it by the number of values in the given data set. Median is the middle score itself. If the, if the counting is odd, uh, the middle score is the median. If the counting is even, then the median is the two middle scores divided by two that is the median but make sure that the given data set is arranged first from least to greatest for you to identify the middle score and then the third one is the mode mode is the set of value that appears more frequently Ito yung marami or mas marami ang nakakuha. Mas marami ang scores. Code is the set of value that appears more frequently. Kung sino yung pinaka maraming beses na lumabas na score. If it happens na meron tayong dalawang 
score na parehas ang bilang uh, sa, sa ating data set, then silang dalawa ang ating mode. At tinatawag natin ito bimodal. Kapag ang uh, ang given set ay walang o walang nauulit na, na score, then we have no mode. Now, let us try. Find the mean of the following grades of a student in statistics examination. If the students got the following scores of 80, 85, 83, 70, 64, 87, 73, 79, 65, and 85. Now, let's try number two. What is the median and mode in the given data set? 16, 10, 12, 12, 8, 8. are correct. The median in this given data set is 10 plus 12 divided by 2 is 11. And then the mode in this given set, since we have 2 8s and 2 12s, therefore we have a bimodal. Our mode in this given set is 12 and 8. And that ends our lesson today. I want you to try computing for your average from your first grading period to third grading period. By getting the average for each grading period, you know already how to get the mean. By doing so, by analyzing your computed grades from the first to third grading, I want you to look for its median and also for the mode. That is how you apply our today's lesson. For our assessment today, I want you to answer the Google form I will be sending in our group chat. If you have questions and clarifications, don't hesitate to ask in our group chat. That will be all for today. God bless and keep safe. Goodbye!